TV Live. I'm Zach Gilbert. I'm Jacob Miklich. And welcome back to another episode. Uh, right now we're going to send it to Briar with sports. I'm Briar with your sports recap. Last Friday, the Hitchcock Tula Patriots traveled over to Watertown to go against the Great Plains Lutheran Panthers with a score of 48-23 to with a Patriot victory. Some highlights of the game were Eric Solomon with a 141 yards of rushing and two touchdowns. Kyle Hamilton had a 65 yard run for a touchdown and a one two point conversion. <sighs> as well as the Lady Patriots also played on Thursday night for Pink Knight against Miller. Pink Knight was the FCCLA raised money for breast cancer awareness. The ladies had a good fight with a oath loss of three sets, but they played their heart out. I'm very close for HGTV. I'll be interviewing Coach Op for the sports. So, Coach, how was the game last Thursday? Um, Thursday we played Miller. Um, it's kind of been the story of the season. Um, just a lot of errors on our part. It was fairly close throughout. I think it was 25-20 all three sets, which that doesn't happen very often. But um, like I said, just cutting down on the errors, whether it's a missed serve, bad pass, drop balls, things like that. We have to clean up here before um, we get into postseason. Okay. Uh, I believe tomorrow you play in Ipswich? Correct. Um, if we go up to Ipswich, always a tough atmosphere to play up there uh, when you go up to their, up to their gym. Um, they're, they're very similar to what we do, I, I believe. Um, they're pretty young, uh, very inconsistent with their hits, serving, and so forth. I think it's going to be a good match. Okay, and then next week you play Sanborn Central. How do you think about that? Um, Sanborn, I haven't really saw a lot of film on them yet. Um, obviously, it's a conference game, so we'd like to, to win that one. Um, it's the biggest thing at this point. We have to go in, clean up our errors, pass well, ball control, keep the ball under our, on our side of the net, and hopefully we'll be able to give them a pretty good match. And like I said, it's a conference game, and so we need to get back on the winning winning end here with we only have uh, four matches to go. So, Thank you, Coach. Good luck. Now with Coach Solomon. So, Coach, how was last week's game? Uh, you know, I, was, I wasn't I was real pleased with it in, in the sense we didn't come out real well, um, but we did stay in control the whole game, and, and – wasn't ever a concern of losing that game. It just we just didn't play as well as we could have. Okay, and then what about this week's game then? Uh, well, this week's game we're playing the top team in the state right now in 9B, and and I'm excited for that. That that's a challenge, and I look forward to challenges. And I think our team does too. And I think we'll come out and and play really well, and and uh, we'll just see what happens on the scoreboard. Okay, what are your thoughts for the Hitchcock to the Patriots qualifying for playoffs for 31 times since 19? 1985. You know, I think I think that's great. It just shows the talent that we have here in Hitchcock Tulare and over the years and continue to have. And uh, I look forward to not only making it to playoffs, but making it further into the playoffs than we have before, at least that I know of that we have before. All right. Thank you, Coach. Good luck. Thank you, Briar, for that sports recap. Uh, I'll be uh, doing uh, next events coming up next week. Uh, this Friday, the football team travels to Avon for their final regular season game. And then uh, Monday, we got elementary boys and girls basketball versus Iroquois Dolan. And then next Tuesday, we got volleyball versus uh, Sanborn Central Woonsocket. And then next Thursday, the football team has their first playoff game, which will be in Tulare. And that is the first time since 2012 that the Hitchcock Tulare football team has uh, hosted a first round playoff game. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, we'll send it to Raymond with the letter. Uh, I'm Raymond Cole, I'm uh, with HGTV, and uh, this is your seven day forecast. For Friday, there's a high of 54 and a low of 36, and a 4% chance of rain. For Saturday, there's a, 60, uh, there's a high of 60 and a low of 35, and a 2% chance of rain. For Sunday, there's a high of 68 and a low of 46, and a 1% chance of rain. Um, for Monday, there's a high of 68 and a low of 36. Um, there's a 5% chance of rain. Uh, Tuesday, uh, the high is 60 and the low is 31. 
and there's zero percent chance of rain uh, for Wednesday. There's a high of 54 and a low of 32, and a chance of 15 percent chance of rain. And for Thursday, there's a high of 62 and a low of 35. Um, for Friday, this is a forecast for uh, Hitchcock. For Friday, there's a high of 52 and a low of 35, and a 25% chance of rain. For Saturday, there's a high of 60 and a low of 35, with a 2% chance of rain. Uh, for Sunday, uh, there's a high of 68 and a low of 46, and a 1% chance of rain. For Monday, there is a high of 68 and a low of 37. For Tuesday, there's a high of 60 and a low of 31. For Wednesday, there's a high of 55 and a low of 33. And for Thursday, there's a high of 62 and a low of 35. Uh, thank you, Amy, for the weather. I got birthdays. I'd like to wish happy birthday to Jessica Godfrey, Jada Hofer, Cash Chaplin, Jordan Beckler, and that's it. Happy birthday. I'm Jacob Mikwich. And I'm Zach Gilbert. Have a good one, Scott. See you later.